There's a famous 2008 study in which monkeys were placed in glass cages side by side and prompted with the simple task of handing the scientists a pebble. In exchange for correctly following instructions, one of the monkeys was handed a cucumber as a reward, which she was perfectly happy to accept until she noticed that the other monkey received a grape, i.e. a sweeter, yummier treat. Shocked over this inequality, she literally threw that cucumber at the scientist and rattled her cage in protest. As Theodore Roosevelt once wisely said, comparison really is the thief of joy. And yet it feels impossible to avoid. It's in equal measure primal as displayed by the monkeys as it is destructive. It's that controversial fire that ignites conversations everywhere from YouTube comments to Instagram comments about relationships, careers, online dating through to body image from the size of our bank balances, to the size of our cars, to the size of our homes, to the length of our resumes. It seems like we're addicted to comparison and it's just not good for us. The interesting thing is we've always compared ourselves. Now it's just amplified and magnified. Social media has given us access to comparison 24 seven. We used to only hear about the successes and failures of people we personally knew. Now we hear about everyone all of the time. Not only that, but we all know we only share the best parts, making everyone else feel like they're not being enough, doing enough or living enough. So just because someone's life, job, body, car, whatever it is, looks better on social media, doesn't mean they aren't dealing with their own problems and insecurities. So instead of wishing that our Instagram profiles have more likes, followers and adventure, we can focus on building more memories. FOMO doesn't exist because we're not happy with what we're doing. It's because we think someone is happier with what they're doing. Researchers found that comparison breeds envy, low self-esteem, low confidence, depression, anxiety, and even makes us lose trust in the people close to us. So it's pretty simple. Unfollow the accounts that don't make you feel good. Spend less time on apps and your devices. Don't wake up and go to sleep with the phone in your hand. And I know it's ironic because you're hearing this through a screen. But choose to follow the messages and the accounts that bring you alive. Comparison really breeds competition and makes you miss out on collaboration. Remember, your competition isn't other people. Your competition is your procrastination, your ego, the unhealthy food you're consuming, the knowledge you neglect, the negative behavior you're nurturing, and the lack of creativity. Compete against that. The only thing you should compare yourself to is the person you were yesterday.